guys, welcome back to A-Level Lessons. Right, in this video, we're going to be looking at the next question of your 2016 A-Level H2 Math Paper 1. So we're going to be looking at question 7 on your uh, complex numbers. Am I right? Yes, so it's going to be complex numbers. Quite a simple question. Uh, okay, I mean, I say that for every question, I realise, okay, this question is slightly tricky, alright? But as we go through, I'm sure it'll get easier. So part A, let's go through part A first. So part A... <coughs> is asking you to verify that minus 1 plus 5i is the root of the equation w square plus uh, so let's just write it out okay w square plus minus 1 minus 8i w plus minus 17 plus 7i equals to 0 so hence or otherwise find the second root of the equation in Cartesian form p plus i q showing you're working all right so this question how do we do it okay when we say that there is a uh, root of an equation okay it means that this entire equation um should i sub it in okay will give me the same value of zero all right so let's say it, it's just just think of it as a quadratic equation okay let's say if i say that x minus 2 is a factor uh uh, is, a, is a root, sorry, of the equa of a quadratic equation. Right, when you sub in 2, you're going to get the answer um, of whatever the equation was equiv equivalent to, okay, usually equivalent to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, okay, we're going to let, okay, in this case, let a function, so let fw, okay, similar to how we let fx equals to f, not f, sorry, equals to this whole line, so it's going to be a w squared, plus 1 minus minus 1 minus 8i w plus minus 17 plus 7i a that's all okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to sub in this root since they say that they ask us to verify so for us to verify with the sub in w so sub w to be this root which is minus 1 plus 5i you have f times minus 1 plus 5i okay this would be our value that we're subbing in so now substitute all the same w values for this you will be having minus 1 plus 5i square plus minus 1 minus 8i times minus 1 plus 5i and then the last one this remains the same minus 17 plus 7i so now that i've got this okay go ahead and simply expand so for the first part is your usual expansion. Um, so minus 1, okay, you have minus 1 square, so you'll be left with 1. Okay, then you take minus 1 times 5 times 2, you have minus 10i. Okay, and then 5i, okay, 5i to the power of 2, the whole thing to the power of 2, okay, i square gives you negative 1. So negative 1 would lead to the whole thing uh, becoming 5 square, which is 25. Okay, it'll cause it, okay, it'll be basically be 5 square times um, i square, which is 25 times minus 1, so you have minus 25. Okay, expand this one like a rainbow method, very simple. So plus 1 minus 5i plus 8i plus 40. Okay, because i times i is uh, i square, so that be minus 1. So minus 8 times uh, 5 times minus 1, you get plus 40. And the last part remains the same. So very simple. This is how you would get your equation. So expand everything. Okay, just add all the values. You realize that you will simply get 0. Okay, 0 plus 0, i. So this shows that therefore, minus 1 plus 5, i is a root of this equation here f w okay we give it a function f w okay you can make it gw okay anything works in this case i want to use f <coughs> okay so for the next part hence or otherwise find the second root of the equation in cartesian form uh what we're going to do is we have to basically find another root okay a second root of this equation which will be in the form p plus i q so let's just use a uh, uh something to denote this second root so let's just say that uh we will let uh the second root uh you can use anything okay let's just use uh let's use something let's use a right since we can use a uh don't use something that is anywhere close to the end since just in case you get confused k or w x y z uh, i'll just use a for simplicity's sake so this would mean that when i have this equation which is w square plus one minus eight i w plus minus 17 plus 7i this would actually equate to um 
something times something, right? Because that is how we have two of our roots. So in this case, one of it will be what we have already been uh, verified in the first part. So it'd be W minus minus 1 plus 5i. And this will be multiplied by W minus A. Okay, our second root. So A minus B, uh, I mean, it's your classic, how you will do your quadratic equations as well. So from here, what we can do, okay, is we can use several methods to actually solve this. Okay, if you, want, you can expand and then compare the various coefficients and all. Uh, how I would do it is you can just simply observe. Okay, you can observe from this because what happens is that you see A is standalone, right? It's going to be a value um, at the end over here. Let me just highlight it over here. So what you can do is that you can actually see, right, that what happens is that when this minus A actually multiplies this area over here, minus 1 times minus 1 plus 5i, you will definitely get this constant over here, which is minus 17 plus 7i, okay, or this, uh, this number value over here. Okay, reason being is that W is not involved. Okay, you see for the rest, W is involved. In this case, when I take these two multiplied by each other, there is definitely not going to be W. So what we can do is that we can say, um, solving using observation, okay, you can actually equate that minus minus 1 plus 5i times your my, uh, minus a. This would actually give you minus 17 plus 7i. Right, so from here, what you can do is you can uh, bring all of the values to one side, just leave a on one side. So if I bring a across, I'll be left with a equals to minus 17 plus 7i. Bring the entire part over, okay, and then uh, the both the minus signs will cancel out each other, so you're just left with minus 1 plus 5i. From here, we have to rationalize. So to rationalize, you just simply take the denominator and flip it upside Oops. and just flip it upside down okay flip the, the sign value so this would be <coughs> multiplied by minus 1 minus 5i over minus 1 minus 5i now all right so from here you can just simply uh, solve it so multiply them together you'll be left with 17 plus 85i minus 7i plus 35 this will be over minus 1 times minus 1, you just get, leave, leave you with 1. Uh, so it'll be minus 1 square plus uh, 5i times minus 5i. So i square will give you minus 1. Minus 1 times the negative sign gives you a positive 5 square. So solve it together. You will be left with 52 plus 78i over 26. And so this would simply give you... Uh, 2 plus 3i. Okay, so therefore, your P is going to be 2 and your Q will be equivalent to 3. That will be the answer for this part on uh, part A. Very uh, straightforward. Okay, just use simple complex number techniques that you have learned. Okay, next part, part B. Uh, the equation of this, so part B, so part B equation, Z cubed minus 5z square plus 16z plus k equals to 0. k where k is a real constant has a root of z equals to 1 plus ai where a is a positive real constant so find the values of a and k. So they already gave you <coughs> a, a root that they have is uh, z equals to 1, 1 plus ai. So simply just sub that in. Okay, So let's just sub it in. 1 plus ai cubed minus 5 times 1 plus ai square plus 16 times 1 plus ai plus k equals to 0. Okay, from here, you can use your normal bi uh, uh, binomial expansion. So if you use your normal binom expansion, you will get uh, over here is 1 plus ai, so you get 1 plus 3ai plus 3ai square plus ai cubed. Okay, so just copy the formula from your MF26, your formula sheet. Uh, then you can expand the rest, so you get 1 plus 2ai minus a square plus 16 uh, plus 16ai plus k equals to 0. Okay, so now you've gotten this, you can just simply expand everything. Okay, let's solve it. So you'll be left with 1 minus 3a square. Okay, you can basically start to group them together. Okay, group the values that um, 
are basically going to be real, okay, and group the values that are going to be imaginary. Okay, if you want, you can always expand it first. Okay, let's say if you want to expand it first, go ahead. Be left with 1 plus 3ai plus 3a square i square plus a cube i cube. Minus 5 plus 1 plus 2ai minus a square plus 16 plus 16ai plus k equals to 0. Okay, so now we group all the real terms together first. So for this bracket, we have 1 minus 3a square. Okay, reason because it's i square, it will give you i square over here, k will give you minus 1. So it becomes a negative uh, plus 3a minus a cubed. Okay, i cubed is Okay, yeah, sorry about that. I think, uh, give me one second. Okay, yep. Yeah. So, uh, this part over here, okay, I, I square, okay, will basically give you, uh, like I said, okay, uh, I cube, sorry, I cube will give you I square times I. So, in that case, this will give you your plus 3A minus A cube times I. Okay, and then after that, you can add plus, uh, 5a square minus 5 minus 10ai. Okay, group it all together, and then you have the last one, which is going to be 16 plus k plus 16ai. Uh, this will give you 0. Okay, so now let's just group all the real terms one side and all the imaginary terms on the other. You would simply have 1 minus 3a square plus 5a square minus 5 plus 16 plus k plus 3a minus a cubed minus 10a uh, plus 16a i give you 0. So this entire part, okay, essentially it is going to be equivalent to 0, which is the real number, plus 0i, okay, because there's no i value. So you can simply now compare the coefficients. So uh, you'll be left with uh, 12 plus 2a squared plus k plus 9a minus a cube uh, i equals to 0 plus 0 i. So we can find a first. It's easier to find. So let's find a. You have 9a minus a cube give you 0. So a times 9 minus a square will give you a 0. So therefore, a would be equivalent to 0 or uh, a square is equivalent to 9. So a has to be the 3, or a can also be negative 3, okay, because it's a square value. Uh, from here, you can just simply use it. Okay, they say a has to be a positive real constant, so we will reject this one. So if we use a equals to 3, now you can use the real side, which is going to be 12 plus 2a square plus k is equals to 0. So you simply sub in a equals to 3, you have 2 times 3 square plus k give you 0. So therefore, k is equivalent to minus 30. Bring it on to one side. And there you have it, your answers to this question. a equals to 3, k equals to minus 30. Right, so it is a complex number of questions that is a bit complex but definitely manageable. So if you did learn something, be sure to give it a like. Give this video a like as well as to subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel if uh, you did.